Okay, uh, in this example, uh, we're given a pretty straightforward uh, natural log function. Here our function given is f of x equals the natural log of x squared plus 1. And we're being asked here to find the derivative. So, um, if you haven't yet, you're going to see it now. There's uh, a special way to take the derivative of natural log functions. It's a special form of the chain rule. Um, so whenever we have a natural log function, say we're dealing with natural log of u. Okay, it doesn't matter what u is. Um, u can be something a lot more complicated than just a single variable. Like it could be a polynomial like this. It could be some sort of rational function. It could be something more complicated than this. It doesn't matter. When we take the derivative of the natural log of u, what you're gonna do is take the derivative of whatever's on the inside Right, so take the derivative with respect to u of whatever's on the inside and then just divide it by, again, whatever is on the inside. And that's it. Um, of course, it gets more complicated than that, right? Here we're dealing with x squared plus 1. It's a little more complicated than u, and you're going to see things that are more complicated than that, too. But this is the general formula of it. Basically, you're just going to take the inside function, take the derivative of it, and then divide it by whatever it was originally. Okay, so let's do that with this problem. I'm going to erase this because my whiteboard's hella small. Got to work with what we got. You could always rewind it because it's a video. And so, with this problem, we're going to do exactly what we just talked about. We have f prime of x is going to be the derivative of the inside function divided by ooh, divided by the inside function. Right, the inside function here is x squared plus one. In the general example, we just called it u. It doesn't matter what it is. So here we go. And now it should be relatively straightforward. What's the derivative of x squared plus 1? Right, we can distribute this through. The derivative of x squared, just 2x, just use power rule. And the derivative of 1, or any constant, is 0. And so our final answer here is going to be 2x divided by x squared plus 1. I don't know. I'll figure out a way how to do this a little better. But... That is, uh, yep, that's this whole example. All right.